Hello all. Uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, there was a tweet over uh, uh, Malik Magbul. It was put by a Telangana handle. It was put by a Telangana based handle. Just based on that, I was looking into the history. I know the I know the basic details regarding him, but I'm uh, I was just looking into what exactly happened to him or what did he do before he became a Muslim. See, the story is straightforward because if you are looking at the story of Malik Magbul. What do you see is, see, it's, uh, uh, this is a story you will see everywhere. And that is, uh, his name is Gannappa or uh, in some cases we call him Na- Nagaya Ganna. In some cases we call him uh, Ganna Manayaka. And uh, there is a folk mythology in uh, Telugu area saying that uh, he is also, he is known by the name Yugandhara. Yugandhara was a famous minister of Kakteya Prataputra. Uh, basically this uh, uh, the legend of uh, gannamanayaka goes something like uh, he was a fort com- he was the commander of varangal fort and uh, for some reason he flipped sides either he was whether he was captured or whether he surrendered the fort or whether he was a traitor we don't know but uh, the, what we what we know is ultimately he converted to islam uh, he became a big name in uh, delhi sultanate he was he served in uh, Lahore area and then uh, he was sent as a Varangal back to Varangal. Yes, he was sent as a commander back to Varangal again. Now, when he was sent as a commander back to Varangal again, uh, uh, that was the time when uh, Kakriya forces were uh, regrouping under Muslim Naiks. And uh, in in a matter of what seven or eight years, he was ejected out of Varangal. And that is Delhi Sultanate was out of uh, Andhra Pradesh for the next uh, what? Uh, when was that? Uh, till Shah Jahan came in what? 1660s or 1650s, 1640s or 1650s? Till, uh, till the time uh, Delhi Sultan was not at all in the picture in uh, South Indian politics. So now what do we know regarding him? Uh, one thing which I know for sure is that Markandeya Purana, it is considered as one of the five Panchamahakavyas in Telugu. This Markandeya Purana is dedicated to this Kanna Manayak. Uh, if you look into the introduction of that, uh, this is in Telugu. Uh, if you look into the introduction of that, uh, what you will notice here is, uh, see, this is the first thing. Uh, uh, here, he says that uh, Ganna Manayaka won the fort of Varangal for his achievements. He was not he was not appointed because see. He was not appointed because he came from an exalted family, but because he proved himself in war. Where did he prove himself in war? We don't know. How capable was he? We don't know. But the fact that a person was capable enough to earn the governorship of Marangal is something not to be taken lightly. And now, uh, what does he say? Uh, his grandfather his grandfather was Malla uh, He was a commander. Uh, his, fa- his father... Uh, was uh, under uh, Kakteya Ganapadeva and all those things. Uh, and someone was actually saying this Mallavivudu is Adhidam Mallu. Adhidam Mallu is another famous name in uh, Kakteya history. When uh, uh, when uh, the Kayasthas of uh, Tripurantakam, when they rebelled against uh, Kakatiyas, and when uh, Rudrama Devi was killed in those uh, invasions, in those attacks, Pratavrudra, he sent three armies in three directions. One went towards uh, Rai Surdo, which was uh, held, which was held by Yadavas, and one went towards Tripurantakam under the personal command of Pratavrudra. The left one was under the command of these uh, uh, Gona family, uh, Gona, uh, Gona Ganna Reddy, all those people. The, cent- the central wing went towards uh, 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 Tripurantakam, and the right wing went towards Nellur, which was under the custody of uh, a commander of, uh, sorry, a, va- a vassal of. Uh, Tripurantakam's Ambadeva Kayastha. Adhidam Mallu was the one who commanded, the, who was second in command for the for the eastern uh, eastern track, eastern attack which is on Nellore. Uh, Manavaganda Gopala, uh, the uh, Ambadeva's uh, appointee in Nellore was killed and uh, Kakati has captured that area. That is how we come to know of uh, Ambad, uh, sorry, Adhidam Mallu. Now, we really don't know whether Adhidam Mallu is uh, this Gannamanaga's grandfather. If he is a grandfather, he really comes from a very exalted family. Uh, but, and uh, see, this loan, two things are mentioned uh, regarding him. Uh, one, he is uh, considered to be, he, he is very loyal to his king and uh, he is very capable enough. 
he is capable enough as a commander field commander so both of them uh, the, this part this particular poem this tells that he is very very loyal to his king and he was he was very capable now uh, and then so what do we know regarding ultimately what do we know regarding one he comes from a very good family second he is capable enough as a commander and third he is known for his loyalty but again the sa- the same introduction yes you find uh, you will find the same thing in the book you will find the same thing in the book below in the uh, in the book below but uh, the same uh, the introduction it also gives uh, one more one more thing this is the most concerning thing which i noticed that he is a womanizer now if you try to add to and to tell me whether it is possible that because of his womanizing habits kakati has lost one another is it possible i don't know whether it is or not but uh, who knows and uh, okay uh, one there are two there are multiple things here who i didn't who equated uh, nagayaganna to malik makul that is the first question who equated yugandhara to nagayaganna that is the second question do we really have an answer for that or is it just something which evolved over uh, generations and this uh, ganna manayaka is not a, is not that an uncommon name here example you have an inscription from 1268 uh, again he is a ca- commander sahini sahini is a commander uh, the sahini ganna manayudu commander in chief of kakatiya forces of rudradeva maharaja this is in 1268 and uh, there is uh, another uh, okay this is from one book and there is another uh, ganna manayaka of the chagi line chagi line of vinukonda again from the same area gada sang gada san was sagi ganna or ganna manayaka ganna man bore the titles karavala bhairava puliya marko puliya marko la ganda ganda bhairava so this is not that common so what is the chance that this gannamanayaka of varangal fort and that malik makbul was uh, confused together uh, there can be some sort of uh, we really don't know but there is a chance that uh, there is there is no confusion per se but there is some level of circumstantial evidence here example the same uh, introduction it says that in spite of the fact that there are thousands of inscriptions of kakatiya and kakatiya rulers and their commanders and governors are spread all over telangana not even a single inscription of gannamanayaka is found what is the chance that a person who who is the commander of varangal fort for almost 15 years and and uh, who is considered to be a great pattern of arts you know take the case of markandeya purana it's dedicated to him right and uh, who is this marana this marana is either a son uh, either he is either a son of uh, kakatiya brother sorry tikkan somiyaji one one of the three the middle one who translated mahabharata into telugu or he is uh, a friend of his uh, son ultimately he is someone very close to tikkan somiyaji and uh, going by the fact that uh, he specifically called out those names uh, one minute let me see i saw the poem somewhere uh, see going by the fact that uh, he speci- he specifically invoked all the major poets uh, he started with uh, this, this is expected uh, stuti to lord vishnu stuti to lord shiva to brahma vishvaksena and saraswati that is fine but this is not uh, something we see commonly in any book um, an invocation of uh, vyasa veda vyasa valmiki nannayya and tikkana and these two are the greatest poets of telugu the greatest poets in telugu before him and he invoked both of them in spite of this uh, that means ultimately we will come to know here that ultimately we are in a position to understand that this uh, gannam nayaka comes from a, uh, he is um, he, he either he is very powerful enough or he is uh, into arts as well and uh, what explains the fact that not even a single inscription of him is found i can think of only one thing that when he came back as malik makbul he really he actually knew what and all inscriptions did he cast he sent people to destroy everything so that his uh, hindu history will not be visible to people again a conjecture but it is uh, completely possible this is one side of it now what other corroboration can we have over the assumption that 
he he was a traitor he and add uh, and uh, remember this line remember this line here uh, what you see here that uh, he is a womanizer remember this line before uh, the, uh, going further into this story but or rather whenever we are dealing about this now oh, let's go to what ng ranga wrote in his book i really don't trust this book uh, but uh, there, there are uh, some uh, curious points which he mentioned there see it is said that uh, for decades there were some traitors among the citizens who were in league with the king and priests of devagiri some of the disaffected nayaks were uh, interviewing against prataparutra because they were angry over the special favors conferred upon lenkas and some of the well known nayaks the principal kotwal gannama nayaka whom prataparutra raised to the key position despite protests from many local nayaks local nayaks treacherously tre- tre- helped the invaders to enter the fort gain control over the inner chambers also secretly suddenly because he was offered the vice royalty of parangal this is correct this happened but was he offer but was he offered the vice royalty of varangal uh, uh, in return for his treachery we don't know how did he become uh, uh, how did uh, how did he actually uh, come into contact with muslims we don't know or uh, was he captured or uh, did he voluntarily surrender that also we don't know but what he says is but uh, what he says is maybe it is his conjecture or maybe he based based it uh, based on some uh, folk uh, folk information no, either he, and here he hints that there is a possibility of uh, rebellion and then what he says his son rebelled against his father it's not and uh, there are other names also like uh, jagannath pandit uh, jagannath pandita and others who also converted to islam uh is forcible is forcible capture of warangal for is forcible capture of a uh, commander of note and uh, conversion to islam is it enough a, uh the, is it enough an insult to shame a family i really doubt it something big happened there it was it was it this uh, cap, was it this surrender of warangal for through the treachery or was it through uh, and even worse was it uh, surrender of warangal for through treachery through honey trap that is a question maybe we will never find an answer for that but it is a curious it is a curious uh, line of thought we can have and then he also says at this point in the same in the same book he also says this one uh, it was a wonder how how the heroic emperor and so many of his veera nayakas and ministers came to be captured as prisoners of war in 1323 actually pradap rudra is considered to be a very great field commander of note he personally commanded uh, trivarantakum exp- expedition he personally can uh, led the kanchi expedition though he did not go till uh, sri rangam and uh, he he was an he was an active prince he was an active king he was an active prince he was an active military commander and uh, and, and more importantly he ha- he was there on the throne for almost 35 years 35 to 40 years that means he really knew he really knew his stuff so and then if under that uh, as an under that uh, observations it really makes one wonder why this happened and then he says it could not have and then uh, ranga says it could not have happened on the battlefield because those kakatiya uh, kakatiya veeras of lenka order would have succeeded in laying down their lives with swords or battle axes in their hands rather than being uh, captured and massacred it happened only when they were in council by the betrayal of some of the fifth columnists lurking even in their innermost councils who were they who could they be and then he brings out the name of uh, gannama nayaka possibly he is the one uh, who betrayed for uh, see governor of warangal fort betraying the king in his council it is a bit uh, uncommon thing to uh, it, it is a it, it is very uncommon to think about it but he of all the people he has got a very good opportunity to trap the king into an uh, disadvantageous position and then uh, we know for sure that when uh, later we know that he was sent back as governor of arangal we know all the story so the question again the question and again i'll uh, i'll want to pose here was uh, ganam nayaka honey trapped into treachery is there some is there something over which uh, anyone uh, uh, we can do some serious uh, thought process or uh, uh, we can do some serious research something you think about now uh, just as, on a side note when i took the name of uh, yogendra right so there are uh, two different versions of the story now uh, the standard version goes something like uh, when uh, pratap rudra was captured in uh, this happened much before uh, 
uh, this happened much much before uh, uh, the final uh, conquest of Aurangabad when pratap rudra was captured this ganna vanayaka his um, this uh, yugandhara he was his commander uh, sorry he was his commander and minister uh, he played some uh, tricks on the muslims to release his king that uh, that's what the story was Uh, the king was a very uh, the king had a very sagacious minister by name yugandharudu who was summoned by the sultan to be employed in his court the king refused and he was taken prisoner and confined to his capital his faithful minister having declared he would rescue him and bring back openly when discussed with the capital and their feigning madness ran, ran through the streets daily calling oh i am going to take away orugan pratap pratap rudu the sultan suspecting this madness was assumed caused him to be punished the spies discovered uh, that he cooked uh, under a tree in the midnight and the man was concealed in a tree as oh, a random man was concealed in a tree to watch him when he thought uh, he was alone according to the custom the minister came to the man, uh, came at midnight to cook his food and while doing so yawned he immediately thought to himself that there must be some cause for this and glancing furiously up he perceived a spy then he said in a loud voice there is no yawn without a wonder and commenced breaking his pots and acting acting in a manner the minister was reported as really mad and his ravings were unheeded shortly afterwards a ship laden with valuables was sent by the minister's contrivance to the port sultan hearing it was anxious to inspect the cargo and being informed that the imprisoned king was a connoisseur in gems ordered him to be brought brought with him on board the vessel the minister also managed to get board and while the sultan was engaged in examining the precious stones anchor was dropped and the sultan then uh, learned the trick and uh, uh, released both the king and his minister so uh, this is the standard narrative which we see but there is an, another local variant of the story which we come to know in varangal area basically what that says is this ganna manayaka or uh, uh, this uh, yugandhara uh, he gets to know of the capture of the king so what he does he places a washerman who looks uh, just like the king on the throne and goes goes to search for uh, search for his master Um, by the time he traces his king and uh, by by the time he traces where he is uh, he gets to know that he reaches nanada and uh, he gets to know that uh, pratap rudra committed suicide uh, hearing of the news he committed suicide so in other words from the telugu man from the telugu folklore what we come to hear is yugandhara disappeared from history near nanada did he become malik magbul after that we don't know did he did he really commit suicide we don't know what made him convert what made him convert we don't know but this is one story that is this is the main this is the main story through which he lives in public memory but uh, ultimately the question is this was he a woman say marana writes he is a womanizer i don't see any reason in not believing that because uh, Uh, this book comes uh, uh, this book is dedicated to him and it ex- uh, it extol it uh, extols his greatness i don't see any problem with that that's the first thing that's the first part of it uh, second part of it is uh, was was he the was that treachery because of uh, wom- his womanizing activities number 2 why did his son rebel against him these three and the f- and the fourth question which uh, ranga raises is uh, which is also which also needs to which also needs some serious looking into is uh, how come the kagatiya high command was captured it's not uh, those, those are all not uh, small names to think about there are many big names like uh, mopidi nayak of uh, mopidi nayaka who led the, the uh, tripurantha who led the sorry uh, sri rangam invasion so so my adle rudradeva he was a supreme commander of forces did he die before the war or was or did he disappear during the battle we don't know Uh, and then uh, we have uh, pratap rudra's brother he is also mentioned in some inscriptions and he suddenly disappeared from the inscription somewhere in uh, 1290s um, was that be, uh, what happened to him we don't know and uh, all these uh, the, all these port governors the, all these uh, governors it's like adidam mallu example whether, whether he died or not whether he died before the invasion we don't know uh, adidam mallu who uh, this uh, gona family gona ganna reddy or uh, his son uh gona buddha sorry gona buddha all all these people there are many names of note which we come to know we don't know what happened to them so how exactly were they captured and how exactly were they captured in mass or uh, the, hearing the news of the capture of pratap rudra again that is a question how did they surrender did they surrender to fight to uh, postpone the battle to different day that also we don't know these are some open questions with respect to the fall of kakatiyas especially with respect to this malik magbul character how much of it is true how much of it is fiction how much of it is uh, 
ఫో ఫోక్లోర్ లింకింగ్ అప్ విత్ అదర్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఇన్ ద ఏరియా వి మే నెవర్ నో హౌ మన అండ్ హౌ హౌ మచ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫిక్షన్ విచ్ వాస్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ అట్ అ లేటర్ డేట్ లైక్ సార్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దెర్ ఇస్ దిస్ పోయం బై నేమ్ దెర్ ఇస్ దెర్ ఇస్ దిస్ ప్లే బై నేమ్ ప్రతాప్ రుద్రి అని దిస్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ దిస్ యుగంధర స్టోరీ దిస్ కేమ్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ కేమ్ సెంచరీస్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద ఫాల్ ఆఫ్ వరంగల్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద బేసిస్ ఫర్ దట్ స్టోరీ వాజ్ వాజ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ ఇట్ అన్ ఇన్వెన్షన్ బై ద పోయట్ ఆర్ హ్యాజ్ ఇట్ గాట్ సమ్ హిస్టారిక్ రియన్ హిస్టారిక్ ట్రూత్ ఇన్ దట్ వీ ఆల్సో డోంట్ నో దట్ ultimately these are some of the open questions which we have so i want to know your uh, views on this whether uh, malik magbul was a traitor or whether ganna vanayaga was a traitor and uh, if he is a traitor was womanization a part of uh, uh, the tra- the treachery game which was play- played that day uh, thank you for listening have a nice day then